TEE 1010 Part 3 Hardware Changes. Here's a quick look at the insides before any changes. 240 volts, input power and expression pedal boards. Here is the main board for the FCB 1010. And also the sockets for the foot pedals and the MIDI in and out. I will remove the transformer which is held by two bolts. The power socket and switch won't be used so they can be removed or disconnected. Once removed this flap makes a great mount point for the Teensy. The FCB mainboard and voltage regulator are not needed. They are held in place by a few screws on the back. This plastic plate is where I want to mount some potentiometers and switches. Despite being careful and drilling pilot holes, the plastic shattered. Maybe you are more careful than me. I managed to make do with a spare piece of aluminium carpet edging. Here is the Teensy mounted. The second dark green board is where I implement 3.3 volts and ground connections for multiple components. The expression pedals are connected as potentiometers with the center wipers connected to analog inputs A16 and A17. The red wire is 3 volts and the wire on the left is the ground. These other potentiometers are wired as per usual with ground 3 volts and the center wiper going to the labeled analog inputs. These and all the Teensy connections that follow are described in video 2 of this series. The additional switches The OLED screen is connected to ground 3 volts and pins 25 and 26. These two large boards hold the foot switches for the FCB 1010. The lower one came off easily while the upper one was stuck and I didn't want to risk breaking it so I used a different method of wiring the switches. Both methods worked. For the lower board, the wires were long enough to reach the Teensy, so I used those. The wires from the upper board were too short, unfortunately. To use the traces on the lower board, I removed the unneeded diode and added a replacement wire for each diode. For the upper board, I soldered a wire directly to one side of the switch. The bottom connection goes to the ground for this board. These sockets for foot switches were repurposed as audio line out. Here are the connections to make to the Teensy audio board. Use this ground for audio line out, as using the wrong ground can cause unwanted noises. And you certainly don't want those noises. These are the MIDI in and out sockets. I decided to keep MIDI in, as I was able to make it work with the Teensy without any modification. The optocoupler is rated from 3 volts upwards. Awesome! The original MIDI pins are as shown. The ground connection on the left needs to be removed so that the new audio out is isolated. Once the board is removed, you can see the 221 ohm resistors used for 5 volt MIDI. These need to be changed to 33 ohms and 10 ohms according to MIDI.org. To do this, I desoldered the 221 ohm resistors and also made the connections for MIDI pins 4, 5 and ground as shown. Pin 2 is the ground connection. This extra connection is 3 volts from the Teensy to drive the optocoupler for MIDI in. It would have been easier to keep the bottom connection shown. Too hasty with the wire cut, I'm afraid. The MIDI out lines from the Teensy connect to the new resistors soldered under this second board before connecting to the MIDI out socket. So here's a program that's just checking to see if everything's working. So let's try a few things. Here's the expression pedal over here. And you can see the values changed on the screen. The other expression pedal going from 48 
up to 980 roughly. Buttons are working. So foot switch one or ten. Foot switch nine. Foot switch three. Let's try the potentiometers over here. This one's actually slowing down the BPM as well at the moment. That's why it goes slow on the screen. You can see they're all working. These other buttons as well. And the screen's working. So that's great. The serial monitor of the test program also shows any MIDI received, the time to process all the hardware and the spare time to waste to keep the BPM steady. 14 is the smallest value I measured for a BPM of 250, which is plenty fast enough for me to play along with. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll be looking at software.